So today we're going to show you how to do a tripled graft link PCL uh, graft preparation. Oftentimes when we're discussing the benefits of the PCL graft link, people ask me, well, how do you get 35 or 36 centimeter grafts? And we typically use Pronius longus, but I agree they are hard to come by. And so although we've been extremely pleased clinically with the outcomes of our graft link PCL reconstructions, there is the problem with the graft's uh, availability being very, very long. So today we're going to show you how to do a tripled graft link using a graft that uh, will be folded over in a triple fashion instead of a quadruple fashion. And this allows you to use a much smaller length graft. So this graft we have today is about 25 to 26 centimeters. And those graft, graft lengths are readily available. So what we need is our graft pro board. We need our tightrope ABS. We'll use fiber tag to help secure the graft and our standard tightrope RT. And then here we're using number two fiber wire on a straight needle. Now, one of the things I'm gonna show you as well is a graft clamp. This is uh, something relatively new and you could put your graft in there, secure this down and now you have great tension for your suturing for the graft. So this graft measures right around 25 to 26 centimeters and folded, when we test this, it's about nine, nine and a half. And you'll see once we have it tripled that it's gonna end up hopefully being around 11 or 12 millimeters in thickness with a total length of about 90 millimeters. So now we're going to uh, prepare the graft with the fiber tag. So the first thing we do, we're going to come right up about 25 to 30 millimeters. We're going to pass the fiber tag through. Now you don't want to pull too hard, just get it so that it just pops right at that spot so that you don't pull it all the way through. You can see you leave just a small tail. Now we're going to come underneath And again, you want to make sure that you keep this tail. And there you can see the fiber tag in place. Now we're going to loop the fiber tag sutures through the tightrope RT. And now we're going to grab both the graft and the actual fiber tag with the needle. And that's going to help secure it and biomechanically, this has been tested to be very strong. And now we are ready to pass our fiber tag like a standard fiber loop technique. So we'll come through. And some of the graphs are a little bit taut, and so you can do this with your hand or you can use a needle driver. And you come through. And it's very important through this step that you grab the fiber tag each time. Come through again. And now you can see we've captured the RT, but it's not so tight that it doesn't move, you see? it'll still easily move through. So when you're tightening it, when you're tightening your RT, it won't get jammed. Now we're gonna come back through. Again, you want to independently, just like you do your standard fiber loop, independently tension the suture so it lays down nice and flush. And you can see we've come right back where we started.
And now we're going to cut the sutures and we'll just tie the ends. Okay, so one of the tricks about getting this into the holder is to take the blue sutures and just bring it this way. And then if you grab the sutures on both ends, it'll normally pop down nicely into the holder, as you can see here. So now we're going to load up the ABS button, and that's nice and secured. And now we're going to take our graft, pop it through the top, through the middle here. So now we're going to take our fiber tag again, and we're going to end up with our standard two tails coming out so that we can use those as backup with a swivel lock. And so we'll load this again. We'll go up about 15 millimeters or so. We don't have too, many, too much suture in the, gra in, the, uh, in the joint. So we'll poke through. And this one, as opposed to the last one, we left a little tail. This one, we're going to pop down and leave this entire tail just about so that it sits flush with just a little overhang like this. Now we're going to clamp this together. And now it'll be just your normal fiber loop. And again, you want to get the actual fiber tag with your needle and then independently get your sutures nice and taut sneak through the beauty of the fiber tag is it just creates such a strong construct now we're going to cut off the excess and now we'll cut off the needle just doing like we normally do for the graph link we'll pass a suture through and then we're gonna get that to sit nice and flush here I'm gonna seat it down Yes, there we go. I think that's actually pretty good length. And now we're going to wrap our sutures around a couple of times. Now, one thing you can do now is you can provi provisionally size this. So I'm going to get a little tension. And we can get a provisional sizing here. So that's a nice tight 12, which is just ideal for the PCL. There's 11 and a half, which is tight. Now it may shrink down to 11 and a half. Yep, I think 11 and a half. And I bet you 11 is going to be, yeah, 11 is going to be too tight. So we ended up with an 11 and a half. And we'll have to do our final sizing once we get all our sutures in. And then here you can see the actual total length of the graft is a little over 90 which is ideal for the ACLs we normally go 20 millimeters in the sockets for the PCLs we normally like to go 25 so here I'm gonna mark it at 25 and then at 15 and I'll do the same thing here 25 and 15 and you can see that <coughs> this is our total intraarticular distance. And now we're going to put our circumferential sutures with number two fiber wire. And what's important here is we try to hit the actual fiber tag. So you can see here we're coming through. We can actually see the fiber tag, get through it, and then come through. And then we know that we have captured the fiber tag. And then we'll do our standard loop.
and we'll cut this one short. And then we'll find a spot to bury our knot. And we'll repeat those steps for both the femoral side and twice on the tibial side, and the construct is complete. And now we're going to do sizing again. So here's the 12, and it's just slightly loose at the 12. Here's 11 and a half. Now that's getting a little snug. And I'd say that 11 and a half on the femur. Here's the 11. Now the 11 starts getting pretty tight. See, it's moving the board. But I could get it. And you could do this all day, or you could try to create a nice uniform construct that's super smooth by using the Arthrex compression tubes. And now we're going to come through. Takes just a little bit of work. There we go. And then at this point, you can just leave it. And so now we're going to just put the construct back into the holder. Now we'll get a little tension back. And it's beautifully tight. You can see the 11 right there. And now we prepare the knee, and it'll be, and it'll be ready for graft insertion.